Uh, hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. In this video I'm going to go over, I've not do, ever done this before, but it looks like I've accomplished quite a lot. It's concerning uh, Interactive Brokers, the broker, using uh, the trading workstation software that a lot of people seem to dislike and not continue using with uh, Interactive Brokers because of it. Um, I've now figured out a way to team up and get this Interactive Brokers working with the really good trading platform, MotoWave. One other thing I want to talk about MotoWave is you can see that, that, that I'll be running this on Linux, on Linux, okay? Name me another platform that can do that and do all the other things I've shown on, on uh, Linux. This is a Mint Linux, so let's get to it. So before we start, I want to make sure you keep up to date with what I do. Get on my email list, quantlabs.net slash contact. Uh, get on that and then I'll start sending you out daily newsletter stuff so you can keep up to date with what I do. All right, let's first look at, um, here's the TWS that everybody seems to love. This is the latest version. We got our stocks here. So a couple of things I want to cover um, before now. Ah, oh, this really gets to me. I can't do anything about this. You can probably see it. Yeah, the dialogue. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to get around this. So, um, anyways, okay. So if you go under configure, and then in there you'll see uh, a couple of things. Make sure you enable ActiveX socket charts. Uh, the big one that you need to know is the socket port. Uh, Interactive Brokers, as far as I know, is 7496 for the platform. Make sure you click off the Java option under encode API messaging instrument names. That's uh, ASCII 7 with Python, Java, and .NET. The other thing is you want to click off is the uh, allow connections from local host only, which I've done, but I've added um, a trusted API 127001 and then apply OK, off you go. So that is how you do it with the, the uh, TWS software and to connect that. So if you come under here, you can see we got inter uh, MotorWave now running with, oops, that's cracking. Um, this to me is really, really exciting. No more Python, no more crazy stuff. You can work using the same strategies developed with MotoWave, but on interactive brokers. This is this is a big deal. Um, right here, okay, so this is, yes, interactive brokers right here. So what we need to do is if we go under your connections when you log in, you start up MotoWave, what you can do for the workspace it says no I'm, I'm just strictly demo mode okay if that's what you're used to with um, interactive brokers of course the, the, the data is no good but just to show you that this works so configure workspace right here so you can see here I've got my interactive brokers right here so let's edit that for modify so here we have this one right here, um, our, our interactive brokers here. So if we update it, um, yeah, here, something happened, but we'll, we'll just play around here. So as I said, we'll modify. No, we don't want to remove, modify, modify, modify. Okay, so here under modify, modify that right here okay great so here's the instructions right here so make sure you follow it to a T local host on the TWS configuration this is the tricky one that worked for me was 7496 the port when I opened up mine on TWS it was 7497 and um, once you do that uh, make sure, as I said, you add in 127001 for the trusted IP address on the server end. 
okay and then here we go test connection boom it's successful so that's all working now with TWS the data so as I said if it's in sim mode or uh, testing mode understand this data is rubbish really just showing you that you can connect with it so here we have Facebook so if I cancel out all this uh, I can show you yes we do have Facebook so if I go under um, chart uh, FB okay maybe search for it uh, FB so here in interactive brokers you got what kind of instrument is it or asset class so we're obviously looking for stock and there we go and boom and choose our bar size or time time frame you have requested data for 102 instruments simultaneous with succeeds your limit uh, okay that's fine you can get these weird messages because I believe we're dealing with data and here it's also saying you could increase your data limit by subscribing for market data so it's when you start getting paid you have to pay out to interact brokers <coughs> or I believe you have to have was a two three thousand minimum to get the free data okay so we now have Facebook euro US dollar the pair Microsoft and Apple okay you'll see some gapping up again I don't know if this is valid or not the data but again you can apply all the usual standards as, as indicator studies your strategy and whatnot okay cool so the other critical point is let's say if I want to do a mock, <laughs> mock order because remember this is a demo so let's see what happens here so I'm going to do a mock order in Facebook okay so you see there's no order book information here for Facebook Apple okay it's not you're not going to get that so let's just see if we can kind of connect this uh, trade buy let's see if it buys so here we can do our usual uh, parameters submit there we go so now we've done the order so it says allow IB to protect your orders by using price management algo blah, 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 um, uh, use on this order I don't know this is demo mode okay boom so there's our buy order TWS here's our buy order limit order for Apple let's make sure it's Apple yes it's Apple so you can see here that it works none of this monkeying around business so I'm gonna put another trade in to sell let's see if that goes submit okay we get the same message we can always turn that off live on this order fine normally the orders placed outside of trading hours will be held not trade until the next trading day but anyways we've got our buy we got our sell and that's it so what we've got now is everything's working tickety boo you've got um, a layer of uh, better better interface using MotoWave for interactive brokers and specifically on TWS so that is a great solution for those that want to have the benefits of interactive brokers you know we've, we've talked about that a lot uh, over the years uh, probably your best broker out there futures options and also we can have confirmed we get simulated in this case data but it, it does work with the trading working for a buy and a sell that to me is pretty freaking awesome and it's a lot easier than monkeying around with code uh, to do this for automation where you can leverage up the use of, of a very powerful platform like MotoWave and uh, I, I gotta tell you this is probably the, the methodology I'm gonna go with and again we can do uh, options futures there is some crypto but why bother 
we can go with a um, actual an actual uh, exchange for that. And namely, when it comes to forex, uh, I would definitely trust interactive brokers for retail forex or currencies uh, using interactive brokers. But as far as I know, you need to have like twenty k or something in an account to do that. But if I ever got to that point, this is the option I would definitely go with. So. All in all, this is this is pretty cool. I I have to admit, and you 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 you're shielding yourself from the complexities. I don't mind this software, the TWS. People despise it, fine, but you can overlay that with this T uh, MotorWave. Very 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 powerful, and you got the, the uh, software development kit on top of it with the usual studies uh, that we've gone over. Um, so let's say, I don't know if, again, this is what I love about, uh, the ability to apply my, my, uh, you know, let's see here, my hearse cycles. Oh, uh, it's new. Okay. So a second here, pull it up. This, this is awesome. I, I, I gotta tell you, this is really awesome. Okay. And then just be able, you know, this looks pretty hair, uh, pretty hairy, but uh, to be able to do this now with uh, stocks and other instruments, like to know when the next uh, leg up for Apple will be, just curious to see if this is real. Uh, not quite. Anyways, doesn't matter. Pretty cool. Very excited. Ah. I always never do the frickin' transition. Let me do this again, sorry about that. So again, we got uh, Apple loaded up. We've got uh, our study that we chose for her cycle. Uh, and then we've got our usual um, good old, uh, uh, where is it, my her cycle right here. Okay, there's our parameters that we picked off right here. Um, and uh, to be honest, you and then this is what it results in right here. So this is pretty, pretty awesome. So again, if you want to know more about this, because I plan to expand on it a lot more, um, just go over to our um, to our uh, contact page, quantlabs.net slash contact to learn more. Get on our email list. And that's pretty, pretty exciting stuff. Other than that, we shall talk to you later. Thanks for watching.